guys, it's time. We are back. I'm here with Tasty Steve. Hey. Mark Mann. What Mark are we here Mizzle. for? What are we here for, Steve? Tekken World Tour CEO 2018, ladies and gentlemen. Master events. Mm. Mm. I gotta start doing the fist more. Yeah, man, but I'm afraid you got, you know, you got your, your collection of beads on. I don't want you to put the hurt on anybody. Nah, I mean, I'm telling you right now, somebody was like, Steve, how do you put the beads on? I was like, actually, I don't. They I put, hold up they my put hand. me on. Yeah, man, and I, they just summon to my wrist oh, in proper fashion. It's, it's like they swirl around. Like, you know, <laughs> it's, it's almost there. You almost have your infinity gun. I'm telling you, man, it's almost time, man. But next up, we got Dab Loto versus HT Mr. Flubs. Yeah, and this is an interesting matchup. It's not a, a matchup that we usually see, but we have Eliza, the narcoleptic, narcoleptic vampire, going up against Kazuya Mishima. And we're here in Duomo di Serio, starting it off. So Loto, let's see what he's able to do here. I, it's always a test. You know, whenever I see fight someone fight against Eliza, the question is, do they know this character? Do they know how to fight this character? We're about I guess to find out. Yeah. No, we just saw uh, Junior play uh, versus John Ding. Man, he's been playing really well. Did he beat him? No, nah, oh, he, he wasn't able to. That matchup looked uh, a lot more difficult because we typically don't get to see those kinds of matchups. Oh, yeah. You know? That's why it's fun. You know, like ever since I think Eliza first oh, stepped onto the scene with the console release, remember we saw Suikin? At mm -hmm. Evo last year, he was putting bodies on everybody, even international players. Yeah, he's a he's a sleaze ball for that. Oh yeah, well he knew he knew. I mean, his character's not in the game. He's gonna be a sleaze ball, mm -hmm. right? You can't blame him. Oh, oh my gosh! Again, getting the counter hit, the follow up. Yo, this uh, Mr. Flubs. Nice, Mr. Flubs is putting in work. Not just that, he gets the wall carry combo. Oh, wow! Not near the wall though. All oh, right, hell sweet. This is how it starts. Never Ooh. mind. Get a kick. Wake up. Nah, Two nah, nah. round straight. Man, that's a nice shade of purple. What is that? That is cool. Is that man. velvet? That's that's Prince Purple, man. Ooh, what? royalty. Whoa. Mm, Jeez. Mm, 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 mm. Right, and the flipboard is going to the other wow. side. The tech catch. Jeez. Yo, Mr. Flubs. Oh my god, don't just look at it. Why? Yo, a deer that was actually a deer in headlights. Yeah, that was something, man. Yo, that, Mr. Oh. Flubs. Yo, he looked geez. at it. Yeah, he's feeling himself. Look, he looks at it. You could tell who's who. You definitely <laughs> you could tell who's who. Who's who. They, they better pick states. All he, right. he, he just reminded him. That's how you know Mr. Flubs is on top of. He's like, yo, bro, I know I just worked you, but make sure you go to uh, stage select. <laughs> you. Yeah, it's me to do with this. Just letting you know you took the L. Right. So you pick the stage. Yeah, I can't. He don't say it like, yo, you pick it. Yeah, I can't pick the stage. I oh, lost. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> just a reminder. So I got to ask you, man. You've been doing commentary for the, the last uh, set of pools. Um, were there any other international players? How did it go? I mean, uh, did so we see Yu Yu play it? Yeah, Yu Yu actually uh, put down to losers by Little Majin. Oh, of course. Yeah, Majin but it was a, a beast. beast. It was a really close match. Yeah, Yu Yu you actually know, won the first game. We know it. That's like one of King's toughest matchups. Yeah, we would. That's one of the things we were touching on. It's one okay. of the harder matchups for King. She made it out though, losers. I think she made it out. Oh, okay. If I'm not mistaken. Okay, okay. that was winners qualified. Yeah, so, so she, she definitely, definitely made, made it. Out. Okay. Nice. That's good stuff. Looking forward to seeing, of course, how this is shaping up, especially when we get towards the later bracket. I believe it's going to be like top, close to top 64 or something that we're going to try to figure out later on today. And then, of course, whittle it down even more, even further. Right now, Hell Sweep, Lodo, fighting back. I'm getting the Demon Steel pedal, that pumping. Oh, oh. That's another good test, you know, for players to see how they know how to fight against Eliza, how they react to that three-hit streak. Yeah, I actually was, I was talking about that a little earlier when they yep. were saying, like, he's like, yeah, man, uh, the thing about Eliza is, you, knowing when she's going to finish a string or not. That's the, one of the most important things. Um, and I feel like a lot of people get hit because they test it. Because uh, she finishes a string and sometimes you get launched. So you literally have to be careful. Your defense has to be on point. I like it. Go, try to go for the dive kick. Man, yo, Mr. Flub is going to be a punish. Has a chance and oh, caught him. He out jumped the air. right into it. And now Najee's, oh my god, right through the lasers. And it oh, whipped. And, oh my god, whipped. the twin pistons. Yo, Mr. Flubs, what are you doing? He's he, laughing. He's channeling Devil from years and years back. Man, that was crazy. That's one of probably the top 10 rarest moves you see is the manual twin pistons from oh, Devil yeah. Mode. Oh, yeah. Because not a lot of people use Devil Mode. Yeah. And the other one is the extended Hell Sweep, too. We never get to see that either. Uh, uh, oh my god, what are you gonna do? Just block him? Yo, Mr. Flubs. Uh oh. Done. Oh, okay, back one. Nice. Able to control that action there. Alright, game two looking a lot better for Loto. Let's go.
Oh, the dive kicks again. He doesn't know how to deal with the pressure. Yeah. Look at Look he at got that. a low parry. Gets yeah. the perfect back in the second match. And Mr. Flubs isn't done yet. Yeah, I'm surprised, you know, he hasn't gone for the power crush or something like that. Something to just, you know, stop the yeah. offense. They're all they're all mid. Oh my gosh, other way. Nope, goes to the low. The full stuff here. Oh, he was ducking ultimate tackle from Kazuya? Wow, the Dude, last punch. The ground to pound. Got him. Now Mr. Flubs is having fun. Okay, now see, they're both happy. I don't know how Mr. Flubs let that go, honestly. I don't know how that happened. Yeah, it was kind of weird. I mean, interesting. He was really controlling in the matchup and the flow of the matchup with Eliza. And then out of nowhere, Kazuya just started putting in work. He started landing all the hits that he needed. And that's all she wrote. Murder she wrote. <laughs> started with that... Uh that Thunder God Fist with the blue stuff with the, what is it called? The Hell's Gate extension? Uh, Heaven's Gate. Heaven's Gate. Yeah, the Thunder to the Sky. So I'm going to tell you something. What up? One of the most intriguing things about Tekken for me that uh -huh. uh, made me like stick with the story to understand it was the dynamic of uh, Jun Kazama and hey, uh, Kazuya Machine. Oh. I really like that. The whole Angel Devil thing, I love that. Yeah. Like, I love that. Not many games, you know, did that. Back in the day, especially for fighting games. I mean, obviously, you know, there was Evil Ryu, but there was never, like, you know, an angel side. Yeah. yeah. That's cool stuff, man. I miss old school fighting game lore. Yeah. Let's focus on the story again. Let's focus on exploration. I, that's one of the reasons I was like, Jeez, my, look at this combo. Oh, my gosh. Jeez. Oh, my God. Looking to close it out. Nice block. Okay. Great punch. He should be able to close it out here. Oh, oh wait, I don't, I don't think know that if that was the right kill. choice. That, I don't think that's going to kill, bro. Oh, my gosh. It's coming down to this. Let's go slow motion, too. Come on. Might as well. Don't, don't slow motion. Don't Let, do no, that. No, slow it. Don't do it. Get away from me, Steve. No, you slow don't want this to happen. You ah! want it to happen. Ah! <laughs> we, knew it was, we knew it was coming. Oh. I was that was still sick. Was like, <laughs> my arm was already out of the way. It's like, what are you grabbing, Steve? You just rubbed my nipple. What are you doing? <laughs> All right. That was good stuff. <laughs> oh, man. That was good. Nice. All right. Man, that was sick. We knew it I'll was like, going to happen. Know, you already know it was going to happen. Okay. Follow up here. Again, man, Flubs is doing work with Eliza, but out of nowhere, you know, Lodo is getting these key hits. It's making him get this comeback factor. Oh, Spin. he's just watching. He doesn't know how to deal with the dive kick. I think that is the, a huge factor in the matchup right now. It's like Flubs, once he gets started, once he gets the offense going, especially near the wall, what is Kazoo going to do? Here we go. Another situation. Watch right here. Oh, finally, the punish and the wall stun. What the? Yo, Loto, what are you doing, bro? Oh, he's blocking low. He is ducking. As soon as he sees a transition from that EX cancel, he starts ducking. And he's been getting those punishes. Mr. Flub's looking like he's in trouble now. No meter on the side. Nice oh, health sweep. Oh, I like oh. it. It's a set point for Loto. Yeah. And just like that, you know, he was down. He was down and out. Uh -oh. Uh oh Here we Oh, he hesitated. Oh, man, he ain't believing it. Uh-oh. Yeah. You, you got to believe. Da -da 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 -da. I actually just beat the PlayStation 4 version Woo! of that game. <laughs> it's a nice classic, you know. Feels All good. Right. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. And the flip over knockdown. He has a chance here, but, you know, because he has rage. <gasps> oh, my God. Do something. Okay. Here we go. Final, 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 final round. round. All right. Okay. Man, and she's close to a meter, so she's going to have access to some extra damage potential or some mix-up potential. We'll see, depending on where in the stage this lies. No, doesn't get the launch afterwards. Not looking good for Flubs. There's the health sweep. One more can end it. Oh, my God, he blocked. No, no punish. punish. That's oh launch punish. Oh, my God. This is making me angry. One, one, two to take it. Mr. Flubs obviously didn't want to win. He did not want it, but, I mean, he... It was, man, that's tough. Mr. I mean, Flubs had some of the sickest combos I've seen all day with a character I've only seen once, maybe twice today. Yeah. I can't believe he lost it. No offense to either one of those players, but I just felt like. That's what, what they get, though. That's you know, what they get for making us all tense and stuff with that yeah, slow motion. That's true. Don't do that's that true. to us, Don't man. Be we're, doing it, man. We're, we're old, but we're trying to be young. I don't know, Woo. right, man? My heart can't take too many more of these slow mos, man. Oh, man, we're going to. I know you, this happens a lot. And I hate to bring it up at this time, Steve, but I'm going to ask, ask you about JoJo's. What you think about the new one coming out? I know they Bro. made the announcement. I'm kind of excited. I'm super hyped. I, I'm more excited than I was for 4. Really? Yeah. Okay. Just uh -huh. because, I mean, 4 and 3 
were probably some of the most highlighted ones. This mm -hmm. was one that I just can't wait to see an anime for. Actually, I'm the, I'm 100 percent the exact yeah. same way. On top of that, like that's when the animation got a lot more refined when it came to JoJo's. Like that's when it got like really, yeah. really, really yeah. good. Yeah, the designs, the designs are nuts. And that's like been a staple of JoJo's, yeah. right? Because you I mean you think about it, I mean you you look at JoJo's part one and two. They are as by the book and cookie cutter as you can get, right? You can see where the references came from. Yeah. You can see how would you know? I mean, they're old. They're old school. They're like from the the 80s, right? But then when you get to three, it starts getting crazy. Then mm -hmm. you get to four, it gets even crazy. Then you get to five, and you're like, man, this guy is on some next level exactly. stuff. I want the stuff that he got. <laughs> when I tell you that, like, I think it was so cool because I started, like, showing people and talking to them about JoJo's. And they was like, when does it take place? I'm like, oh, it takes place during this time. But this one takes place during, like, 2000. They're like, yeah. wait a minute. How's it still going? I'm like, it's a continuous storyline, Well, they bro. also, I mean, a lot of people will find out later on. They got multiple timelines as well. Yeah. That's See, man, what you're I like. supposed to hit them with the spoilers, bro. Mm -hmm. They don't know. They don't need to know. Okay. They All need right. something. They need a hook. You know, sometimes right. time travel is a hook for people. Okay. 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 For me, it is. Like, I bet you didn't know this Paul isn't the same Paul from Second One. Wait, what? I'm joking. <laughs> I'm messing I with you. I'm Why would you do that? Ah, Why would you? Yeah. I was trying to hit you. I know you like that kind of stuff, Steve. Anyways, we're going to go into this matchup. Tong to Tong 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 versus SKZ Room. Ugh. Into that bear sweep. You know, I feel like, you know, there's been a resurgence of the Bears. Oh, that's good, man. There's been a resurgence. You know, obviously, Rangchu, one of the probably the most storied Bear player that we see nowadays. But we're seeing more and more Bears in tournament. There was a time where we saw zero. None at all. I feel like that's the beauty, though, man. Like, I feel like the more exposure, the more the game grows, we're going to see these characters that we don't, like, traditionally get to see. That yeah. was not well, that's a fair thing. trade. That's, that's, an <laughs> that's a, an opposite of what we usually see in fighting games. Is towards the end, or, like, once the game gets older and older, we tend to see, you know, the same characters over and over. Mm -hmm. But Tekken is the opposite. We're seeing more and more yeah, characters yeah. <laughs> because of the balance and because of the, I guess, the attention to detail that the development team has done is they want to make every character viable. Yeah, there is definitely no Street Fighter V Ryu here. Was that a shot? Mm -hmm. Maybe? Slightly. All right. Oh, he had another opportunity for more damage there. Did not go for it. Another bear sweep. And man, he's making that bear sweep look like it's the fastest move he has. <laughs> I would be freaking out, man. I would be running around like crazy. I would not be working. I'm like, man, it is a bear fight to do with a hot top out there. I'm getting out of here. Mm -hmm. Steve, we got to finish making this thing, oh, bro. We're leaving. Oh, the demon uppercut, the follow up here. Pushes him at the wall here. Oh, he doesn't go for the big damage. I think I know what he was going for. Oh, well, he is using his power crush, though. What is he doing? He's got. Man, I'm not going to doubt him. The Tong Song. The <laughs> Enter the Bear Dragon. That Tong Song. Look at that man, so scandalous. <laughs> he be living, loving it a loca. Can you just switch the song on him like that? That oh, was great. Oh, yeah. yeah. He got dumps like a truck. 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 That's like what? Man, that's a, you know, that song was a banger back in the day. <laughs> that That is actually, that is the old school equivalent of a banger. It, yeah, it's, it's one of those things like you're embarrassed about, by it kind of, but it was so good it was back at good. the time. It they was don't make so songs good. like that anymore, man. That's why they're always so popular. You need you to dye your hair blonde for us? No, nah, bro. Sorry. You can't do that? You, the you know, we're celebrating the, the, the anniversary of Demolition, man. You're going to... Bring oh, back nah, man. Simon Phoenix for us? Mm -hmm. Nah, man. You're I, not a fan of that movie? I mean, I actually love that movie. Oh, okay. The blonde hair man Punk already did it. I gotta get my own. I, I, I gotta get my own right. stick, bro. Punk ruined it. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, the death fist. Oh man, I, I I did I forgot about that. You know, that's something that we really didn't see from Ruin in the earlier matchup. Is he did not go for the Hurts. Yeah, that's true. Oh, okay, get Oh the, my God. Yo, my you dude, don't want to do that. Yeah, my dude Ruin. He uh, needs to be careful. He's, yeah, that's a bear, bro. Does he know he's fighting a bear? Yeah. Someone informed There's him. There's not many people here that fight against bears and win. And you know, Paul Phoenix, in the lore, has a history of defeating bears. Right? I thought that was so cool, too. I think that was dope because, like, in Tag 2, when we were back, dang, back to Tag 2, they have, like, the special wind poses. Yeah. Do you remember the ending for Kuma in Tekken 2, I believe? It was the same as Paul's from Tekken 1, except it was Kuma doing all the things. So it was like they threw the bottle in the air, and then he just broke the bottom, oh, he broke the wall, yeah, yeah. he broke yeah. the brick wall. That was one of, the, I think, the coolest like uh, throwbacks or references. And that, But that's not the same Kuma though, right? Uh, I think uh, Tekken 3 Kuma was where it was different. So Tekken 1 and 2 were the, the same Kuma, and then Tekken 3 was the, the son, is it the son or the daughter? I, don't I know. think it was the son. The son, it was the son, yeah. But a lot of people don't know this, my favorite character to use in like Tekken Tech 1 was Polar Kuma, White Kuma. Yeah. With the regular throw, 
Tong the Bears. Takes it. The Bears. The Bears. Man. We're J Block. That's a lot of letters. That is a lot of letters. I'm, I'll, I've always forgot to tell David why doesn't he play Tekken and he just play with the Bears. It farts because he loves farts. He loves that kind of stuff. Yeah, he loves that they kind of stuff. They got booty attacks? Yeah, dude, he loves that. I don't know why he don't just play Tekken and be married with all of us, you know? You know what? I feel like he tries to do it sometimes, but unfortunately he's unable to do it. Yo, I can't hear anything. Uh-oh. Hello? Can you guys hear us? Because I can't hear anything. We're trying to figure this out, but guys, again, I hope you guys are enjoying. No? Oh, All okay. Right. Okay, we're back. But yeah, man, that I'm never cool. saying that again. That was cool. I got again. scared. I was about to be like, don't look at this guy. <laughs> don't look at me. Oh, so this is really nice to see. So that mountain team that I saw earlier uh, that Chung is on, uh, also, I guess, NYC Fab is representing them as well. Yes. So I'm looking forward to that. So right now we have NYC Fab, the legend. The last time we probably saw him was, I believe, during the E-League event. No, 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 no. Did you see him somewhere else? I saw I him at Texas Showdown. Oh, yeah, I did, too. He didn't even do anything. In yeah, he got beat by a, a Noctis player. I oh, forgot. Yeah. He got hit with that, that, that week one Final Fantasy. He got hit with the Materia, the Limit Break, yeah. the Knights of the Round. Shout out. I think it's Mentality. Oh, okay. the, 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 the His new sponsor. You Him know what? I like, I like pissing you off, Steve. I talked bad about Kingdom Hearts 3, but I'm going to do something else right now. Final Fantasy 8 sucked. Oh, my God, dude, man. Come on. Why are we doing this? Oh, I can't do that because he likes Final Fantasy 8, yeah, too. I'm, I'm in yeah, the middle. Dude. I got to be careful. Final Fantasy VIII is good, man. He's right here. <laughs> he's pissed. <laughs> I'm glad it's not on camera right now. But yeah, the big boss is over here. He's gonna. He's threatening me to pull me off commentary. He loves I love eight. eight. He already know what it is, BFF8. man. <laughs> <laughs> BFF8. BFF8. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. That's the best thing the game has. Shut up. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to go into the action. The only reason we brought up Final Fantasy is because Fab lost to Noctis. That's true. That's true. Definitely lost. <laughs> he just muted me. <laughs> oh, my God. Anyways. Sorry, guys. I've been reprimanded. I can only speak good things about good games. Combos. That, come on, bro. I saw what you did there about good games, man. Yeah. I, I, it's, just, it's the way I skirt Doom around train. things. No, you know what? I'll tell you straight up. I tried to like the game. I didn't like playing the game, but I like the story. I like the characters. Maybe not Squall, but man, Laguna is the boy. He is the man. His music. Come people, on. People don't understand. They don't know. Cheerios, Ward, all the. They don't know, man. The Tree Amigos. Quiz this, man. Come on, bro. My girl, selfie shout outs. I want to see it. Cypher. That was a sick villain, bro. Anyways, you know what? I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Ah, oh, God. I don't oh. see them. I don't see them remaking that game. I mean, they could, and it'd still be awesome. Yeah, I mean, hopefully they'll remake it to a better game. <laughs> Anyways, into the Dragon's Nest. Here we go. Starting off, NYC Fab using what the hell was that? I don't know. He used Bob. He got the big toss to the air, but he didn't get the combo. But I mean, his movement's looking really crisp right now. Mm -hmm. It's been a while since we since we've actually seen him play Bob. Though. Yeah. <laughs> Now what's he gonna do? Okay, using the jab to create space. You know, I feel like Bob is. Oh my gosh, he went for the up one plus two. Man, early pulls action right here for NYC Fab. Combos to count. Obscura coming up, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I can't wait to see him. Mean, he's one of the cleanest Alisa players I've seen. Very defensively sound, so it'll be nice to watch him play. Again, gets the toss. Now he gets it. He gets the wild standing one plus two. The follow up here. Nice combo here from Fab. Looking to close it out. One more hit could do it. There's a low. Down back three to close it out. Round number one. That was a long round number yeah, one. Yeah, that was a really long round. Okay, one, two. Small little light side step right there. And this is going to be tough for combos at count too, because, you know, Fab is a Feng player yep. as well, so he definitely knows the potential the character can do and how to deal with this particular matchup. He knows the shortcomings of the character for sure. Oh, oh wow. my gosh. Fab is going in right now. Fab is finding his rhythm now in the rain. Got to get started early. Yeah. Man. I think that's the weather outside right now, too, bro. <laughs> oh, where? Yeah, I heard it was raining. Daytona. <laughs> ba -da -da -da. Okay, no perfect. Oh, got the grab right through the power crush. All right, let's go. Double breaker. Oh, Ooh. never mind. Let me power crush back. Okay. How do, you make, how do you make his belly the power crush? I think that's pretty sick, actually. It is. It's so scary by the wall. It <sighs> is so scary because it's speed, it's activation window. I mean, obviously, still punishable, and it's not launch punishable. It's not launch punishable. It's only jab, right? Uh, I think it's a little bit more than jab. Okay, okay. Really? Okay, all right. 
All right, game two here. Combos that count versus NYC Fab. Next up, we do have Obscure on deck, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, he's going to be going up against Critical 20. Critical 20. All right. Game two. I like the double throw. I actually like that stick. It's like pure wood. That's cool. How you know it's pure wood? Oh. You going to test it? I mean, I, I feel like it is. Might pure be a wood. sticker. <laughs> Dang, that'd be Actually, whack. you know, there is a, a Korean stick that came out a while back that was just a sticker. It was like a wood sticker. Oh, wow. That's <laughs> it's crazy. Broken. Playing with my emotions here. Yeah, right. don't, don't play with us. All right, guys, we're going right into this action. Let's see if Fab's able to continue using some uh, different strings that we don't normally see from Bob here. No punish there, but I like that combo that counts. Switching to Jack, I feel like Jack is always a solid choice. Doesn't matter which level of player you're at, always a, a threat. And, you know, players always respect that character. Okay, Jack Hammer. Oh, G oh what a whip uppercut. punish. Let's go. Oh, man. Come on, you're man, gonna I do got a, hype, man. You're going to do a crazy punish, but drop the combo. Okay, down All right, whatever, one. whatever. Give me all hype for nothing. I don't like that, man. Let's see how we're able to adjust here. And, you know, oh, my gosh, he was ready. Locked and loaded while standing 2-1. Able to get the launch here. And Fab's going to come up with the follow-up. Gets the wall, 2-1. Follow-up and the down 34. Oh! Oh, I like that. No unblockable. Uh. He had a chance there. Okay. Okay, combos that count. Uh, uh. Yo, that one took Into off. Oki, D -book. D -book. Now let's just get some blue stuff. Let me see that blue stuff. Yo, oh, oh the the jab out. I like the challenge, but you got to be able to commit. <gasps> Is he going to land it? Speed. And wait, man. That's crazy. That gravity, man. Man, he's at a 45-degree angle, man. That's crazy. <laughs> it's like a, a space shuttle re-entering the Earth's atmosphere. Yeah, man. he's breaking through the atmosphere. <laughs> a flaming fist through the sky. Oh, here we go again. Another opportunity. Down 34. Yep. I you like know, people it. hate me for using your, your style of uh, calling out notation. I don't know why. I don't know why. They, they Maybe they can't translate it fast enough. I mean, it's, it's, not, for the, it's not for the faint of heart, you know? Yeah. Not everyone can be cool, bro. I know, right? Okay, here we go. Looking to close it out, and Fab takes it with a 4 3 3 plus 4. Able to close it out. Three shrouds straight here over combos that count. And we'll see Fab later on. Still rocking that Ely cat. And he's wearing the hoodie. E -League, e League hooking it up with the with the merch. The fresh. Mm -mm 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 -mm. All right, guys. So up next, it looks like we're going to have NG Obscure going up against AT5K Critical 20. That match is coming up next. You see that dope Brian cosplayer in the crowd? Where? Right oh, there. wow. Is that a girl? It is. Oh, that's sick. I'm taking a photo of her. Yeah. I saw some really sick uh, cosplay while I was here. Yo, I told you I started watching uh, Hunter Hunter, right? No, you didn't tell me that. It's pretty good. Uh, it's I would watch it, but there's a lot to watch. There's definitely a lot to yeah. watch these days. I think I'm gonna read it though. I mean, you know, you're the one that put me on uh, My Hero. Yeah. So I actually really enjoy it. So I actually I think I went past where you were because you were you were yeah you I were was, watching the anime, watching. right? And I just ended up like I can't wait anymore. I'm gonna read the manga. That's good though. Yeah, you know that means I got into it. That yeah. means you you were right, Steve. You but I said. Never mind. I don't want to make this anime battle discussion 101. Come on, man. I mean, you seen you seen your boy Yipes and, and Matrix. They all over Kuroku no basketball yeah. right now. Yeah, it's because they, they, the they, they're superior. They're, they're, yeah, it's the no, superior no, I wouldn't say it's superior. anime. Yeah. It's okay, Mark. It's okay. A slam dunk is way better, bro. Oh, oh let me man, tell you. You ain't even trying. You ain't gonna, you. No, no argument is better. You gonna you just gonna name drop two people and be like. They know. They like Kuroko. I mean, Lupe like. Uh, Lupe is my age. <laughs> he is of. He's my the age era. too. We're, Wait, we're, we're not. We're, we're not the same age. Dude, Lupe. Lupe is what? Thirty six. Oh yeah, he is thirty six. Damn, I just told everyone my age. Body. Find my ID. Uh, buy a car. I mean, that's still typically from the same generation though. Like that's, that's still there. Yeah. Those references are all pulled you're from the same thing. You're just a pup, man. Oh Jesus Christ. Yeah, well, you're what are you? Twenty seven. Not what? Uh, you're like I wish. <laughs> I was like, what? I'm trying to make I'm, I'm trying to make you look good, bro. Okay, all right. You know what? I'll. I'll oh, hold this that. is great. We get to see Lee. Oh snap! Versus Obscure. He's uh also from uh the Tekken Tech uh, the Tekken Team Takedown on E League. Yeah. Here we go. Try to dive over. Oh, oh critical! Let's one. go. Gets the follow up. 
It's always a treat seeing Lee because, man, I feel like he's never used it enough. It's really nice to see him in action. Oh, what Ooh, a, what a whiff punch. What? He I'm was scared. so confident. Not just that he started, you know, doing the Harlem Shake afterwards. Right. I get them shoulders into it. Yo, my boy Obscura got the gamer face. Watch them lips. He get the mumbling. That's crazy. Oh, yeah. Someone apply some lip balm on that man. <laughs> oh, what oh, a duck and what under. a punish there. Gets up forward, forward, forward. The follow-up, not just that, the wall combo. Let's go into the mix-up. Oh, shotgun bang. Shots. <laughs> what up with that thing? I, I want to know. Oh, my gosh. Two rounds straight. <laughs> Yo, Obscura coming out. What does this NG stand for? No good. <laughs> oh, man. No, I don't know, actually. We should probably ask him. I've always seen it. Okay. Is that part of his gamer tag? Is that his team? It looks like it's it is actually part of his gamer tag. Oh, no break on the throw. Uh. Nice. Working Going on back perfect. All the way. Nice. Put on the brakes this time. Able to punish. And man. Counter hit on the down three. Yeah, but didn't get the follow up there with some free damage. Nice. That's it. All right, all right. First game. Obscure. Yep. I think last time I saw Obscure, he was rocking a, a, a My Hero Academia shirt, actually. Really? Everyone's rocking it, man. Oh, man, you can't get away, man. But did you see Peeling? He had on the headband, the My Hero Academia headband. Like, just rocking it he, strong. Not just rocking it strong. He's been wearing it, like, every day for the past week, man. Oh, I think man, he's really stink. into it. <laughs> you smell it. You tell know, me how it smells. Nah, man. I'm cool. I'll leave that for the other folk. What other folk? Not the me. The guy that gave him the, <laughs> the face mask? Possibly. All right, game two. Critical 20. Needs to make some changes here. You can tell Obscure is uh, well-versed in the world of tech. Yeah, he's he's been around, man. You know, he's always a, a threat. You know, he hasn't won a huge tournament. I mean, he's had chances where, you know, he's done really, really well. He's been able to compete with some of the best players around the, the country. Oh, I can't wait to see. We got some matches coming up, bro. Oh, man. Up, uh, here we go. In in Rage right now, Critical 20 has a good opportunity here. Goes for the... Oh, the duck. Do you know, I feel like that's what's been killing him is he's been going for certain things where they're not guaranteed, but they have gaps and holes in them. And Obscure, so well... Ver what the? He just uppercut him and he did nothing. <laughs> That was crazy. It was. I think it was just the angle he was at. Yeah, it was definitely the angle, but man, usually I pop him up a little bit. He right. didn't pop up at all. Okay, Ducks at this time gets the launcher. Yeah, didn't even go for the 4-4-3. Didn't even go for that opportunity. I don't know what he was trying for there. Uh-oh, again. This time going for the high option. Oh, oh, he can't do it, man. He's been punishing it every single time. And like that, Obscure is now up one more round, and he's going to take this all. Yeah, this is a... Uh... So it's looking pretty easy for my boy Obscure, but you can tell Critical, he knows what he wants to get off, but like that's how you see a gap between two players. Oh, yeah. When you see a player who, who has a game plan and you see that player that goes in and kind of just tosses it on his head, like, nah, bro, I need you to do more than that. You know, I think this is a great thing, though, for Critical. I mean, if he's ever going to search the tapes or research how he lost, he's going to find certain ways. I mean, this is a learning thing, man. You got to play Tekken and learn from it. Look at that. Obscure, three rounds straight, takes it. He's going to move on in the bracket. Man, we've been here all day. I know because look at how, how many more people all are in this. Long, <laughs> all night long, all night long, I'm sorry. I'm, 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 I'm reaching all you where you like it. <laughs> that is definitely right up. That is right up my alley. That's the kind of music I vibe to. Mm. That's family reunion music right there. Anyways. <laughs> and that's what it's all about here when you're with the fighting game community. It is family reunion. Man. It's nice to see all these guys, man. We see... Some of these people from all over the world. And you know what else is all over the world? These amazing Quanba sticks, these products. Mm -hmm. Man, we were just talking about it. We were talking about earlier, the Aegis backpack. It's, it's the so Aegis. I found out. It's Aegis. Man, it's whatever you want to call it. See, oh, you were never you. wrong. Dang it. Oh, man. Those backpacks are sick. But anyways, make sure you guys uh, check out those products in the chat. You guys will be linked to some of the cool stuff that they have. And all right, this one should be fun. We got you know who. The guy that has been traveling, that has been going after the big W. He hasn't gotten in it yet. Yeah. But from South Korea, we have Kokoma. He's going up against Derek. My boy Derek. I'm not sure where he's Derek from. Derek Zoolander. <laughs> Derek Zoolander. They're breakdance fighting. They're breakdance fighting. I like the, uh, once again, I'm a fan of the dress of my homie uh, Kokoma. Yeah, he's rocking that cool, new, fresh UIU shirt with the Daytona Blossom. 
it's and like blazing on there. It's like they release a shirt every uh, every event. They do. I think they do. That's actually pretty smart. That's yeah. pretty dope. The the I believe the the CEO or the founder of uh, UIU, she she helps design that, and that's oh, one yeah. of the big things that she really yes. likes. Shout outs to UIU, Jinhee, and of course everyone on their team for not only supporting Tech and Seven, but in the entire fighting game community. I really like the what they're going for. I hope you know. I hope all the success for them. All right, let's see what Derek brings to the table. Definitely has his work cut out for him, because uh, Kakoma is a world traveler, bro. Yeah, man. He likes to fight. All right. And Kakoma, one of those people who has uh, multiple characters. Oh, he's fighting an Asuka, huh? Uh-huh. Derek using Asuka, huh? Looks like uh, Kokomo's thinking here. He might be picking Dragonov. I mean, try to shoot Dragonov, Kazumi, whatever he picks, usually is a good choice. He's uh, picked Devil Jin a few times in tournament as well. Oh, yeah, that's true. That Kazumi been getting him a lot of uh, traction, though. Yeah. All right, game one, Kokomo and Derek. Come on, Derek, make a name for yourself. Make two. Let's go. You only got a first name, man. Don't trust him. All right, we're going to get into this. Party on Wayne. Okay, here we go. Riding a bike into a dojo. That's why nobody likes you, Oscar. So disrespectful. Uh, Derek the Gamer going up against Kokoma. Nice running two here, keeping the pressure. And this stage is one of my favorites just because of the originality and the potential and the ability to do combos that last for days. I'm telling you, man. My Someone's going to do it one day. One day they're going to do it. Oh, my, look, if I'm commentating and you break all the walls, 20 bucks, bro. Not just 20 bucks. You get to spin the wheel and you get a lotto ticket. <laughs> Let's go. Going the other way, Derek the Gamer. Yo, Derek the Gamer. He's fighting. He has rage, too. This is where it could be dangerous. Oh, what oh. for the push. Can, cannot. Oh, they trade. He's still alive. Oh, no, he went for What is he doing? Oh, I don't man. think that's what he wanted. I don't think that's what he wanted, but that's what he ended up with. So about this stage, right? I told her, I was talking to uh, Murs once again. Yeah. He's like, yo, man, what's up with this stage? I'm like, oh, man, this is from Geese. He's like, you mean from King of Fighters? I'm like, yeah. He was like, are so you serious? So he was tripping, right? He was, he was tripping. I was like, yo, man, that's the world we live in right now. And you know what? I got to give it up. The Tekken Project team, the foresight to be able to not include a Capcom character, an SNK character, a Square Enix character. Right? What else do they have for us, Steve? Man, I don't know, man, but I'm waiting. I'm waiting. This is sick. This is CBS3. This is definitely CBS3. Yeah. This is the evolution, actually. Yep. And it's done so well. OK. Man, that mountain in the background with the cherry blossoms going down. Do, 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 do. Oh, this goes for the throw. No big punish. Man, I'm trying to get a house like that, bro. Well, you actually, your house is so big, you have, like, giant statues inside of it. Hopefully, I don't have to turn to a life of drugs. Well, you know what the good thing about it is, though? Let's say, like, you know, you're wandering around the world. I'll say you're at the Valley of the End. Like, oh, look, look at these Hokage statues. Let me get one of those. What? Yo. Okay, get the, get the balcony break. I just saw our next matchup, too. I didn't know he was here. Definitely did not know this next player was here. Well, I can tell you right now, Director Gamer didn't do too bad, but that's Kakoma, man. You got to wake up earlier than that. All right, Brimstone and Fire. One of the things I want to point out, I mean, more often than not, usually the first matches are kind of close. Players are trying to figure out what's going on. But sometimes something just snaps, you know, match number two. It might be... It might be a whooping. You never yeah, know. Yeah, that's true. That's definitely true. And we'll sometimes see. a lot of people use those first matches to collect data, man. They're like, all right, this guy knows how to do this, know how to do that. Okay. Let's go back. I know players who play better at the round deficit. They're like, you know what? I'm down a match, but that first match was all data. Now let's see how this works. All right, guys. Here we go. Continuing the set. Kokomo up 1-0 right now versus Derek the Gamer. Look at that. Trying to get him moving here. One of the things he's trying to figure out, I mean, he's using that tracking move. Seeing if he can uh, kind of restrict his option for movement here. Nice counter hit. The follow-up, he should be able to get the wall. Three-ring uh, uh, circus. Uh, uh. 
Ooh. Oh, just, let me punch your foot. Punch him in the boot. That's boot. Oh, no, break on the throw. Guaranteed follow up here goes for the down. Oh, down two this time. Drop for a little bit more damage. Slidey. Oh, he tried to catch him. That was, that was sick because he ducked it just in time. I like the walk. All right, Kokomo putting in that work. Look at that. Wow, what an amazing step there. Nagatech gets the follow up and the adjustment here for this side combo. Wow, what? he still got the wall combo. Okay. I didn't know it was like any angle like that. Oop. Yeah, it's kind of like Jens, though, where you do one, two, four. Oh, it'll still hit. Yeah. It don't matter which way you. Oh, what? don't get it twisted, bro. Can can kicks the follow up here. No launch punish there. He could have got a down forward two there. Doesn't. Oh, oh never mind. Four, Done so. Done. One that is the, the, more the ugliest round. top kick in the world. <laughs> I actually like it. I, I like it a lot. Actually. You go fight someone like that in the streets? I mean, nah. <laughs> nah I don't know about all that. That that's a bit much. <laughs> yeah. I feel that looks like a hop kick that Hanzo would do. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. I think our up 4 3 is good, though. I think it's a really good tool. Are you talking about Asuka? Yeah. I'm talking about Dragonovs. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> the I... Dragonovs, the it. <laughs> it. It's like he tried to jump, but he didn't make it. Yeah. That's exactly what I mean. Anyways, Kokomo moving on. Derek the Gamer moving to the loser's bracket right now. We may see him later on. We'll find out, of course. Definitely an opportunity. But our next match coming up to the stage, you see him right there. You see him? You like, see him? He's about to get his. Game on. Ben Chang didn't even know he was here. Versus will get paid. My fight, buddy. All right. Okay, so I'm not familiar with will get paid. Wait, actually, no, I, I think I met this gentleman yesterday, actually. Cool. Then it should be an interesting one. Let's see how this one turns out. Of course, Ben Chang. Now in Vancouver, British Columbia, I believe. The Pacific Northwest. He's been rocking that Claudio. Man, he has a huge stick. Oh, that man. Is that a fighting edge? Oh, it is. He just has some artwork on it. Is it a Red Bull? There you go. Oh, he, this guy has the Mad Cat's KE. I never see that stick anymore. Oh, wow. With the Korean lever, huh? Yep. Oh, this dude will get paid. He must know what he's doing. Yeah, I that, love that's, it. No, that's some big boy I, artillery, I, man. I love it. You know, something like, okay, we got a Ford. We, get, we, get, we got a brother from the States here using a Korean lever. He's got movement, right? He's got <laughs> movement. He, he does, picks a character that has no movement. Exactly, right? <laughs> he's I'm a jack you right player. now, where I come from, when I would go to a setup and a dude had a Korean bad top, like, yo, check out Mr. Moneybags over here. He's uh -huh. obviously playing some Tekken uh -huh. quite well if, he's, if he took the time to get a Korean lever. Nothing like a good workout. <laughs> Nothing like a good workout. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I really do appreciate y'all hanging out with the boy, Mark yeah. Man, Tasty Steve. It's always a good time. Man. Always a pleasure to, of course, you know, not only talk about Tekken, but also just chat with my man, Tasty Steve. It's good to be here in Daytona Beach, Florida. My first time actually, you know, hanging out here and here for an event. So it's actually really cool. When are you uh, getting out of here? Monday night, actually. Monday night? Okay. From Orlando. How about you? Man, uh, I'm actually going to uh, Tennessee for the Red Bull Conquest event. Ooh. So uh, if any of you guys are going to be in that area, make sure you sign up for uh, Red Bull Conquest. Rise, Rally, Conquer. Check out the website. Me and my boy Vicious, my brother from another mother. Okay. My other Filipino brother. It's crazy. Got a lot of those guys. I got a lot of family. Uh, but, yeah, make sure you guys come check out. I'll be hosting it. They won't let me enter, though. Man, because they know the, the kind of work they're going to put in. They know <laughs> And they got Guilty Gear there as well. I mean, come on. Mm, that's right. like they're taunting you. Right? All the games you hey, like. Steve, everything you want to do, but you can't do it. But you can talk about it. Anyways, right. going into the match here, will get paid. Putting in work right now, man. He's putting hands on Bin Chang. Mm-hmm. This is the battle of robes right now. Who's got it? Yo, I told you, we'll get paid. Must know something. Tries to go for a throw. Didn't yeah. work out. Uh-oh, here we go. Follow up. He should be able to push towards the wall here. Not going to get the ball splat. Oh, man. Working that tie ball. Nice punish there with the wall rising one, too. Oh, what a duck and the punish there with the stand-up. We'll get paid. Mm-hmm. We'll get paid. Nice, gets Ooh, the big counter. One. Ooh, extended duck one. He's going for the big boy damage. He's going to push towards the wall here. Doesn't oh, get anything drop. out of it. Tries to go for that bazooka. Didn't yeah. work out. The ben Chip, another ah! back one. Two and one. Walk on Mr. Combo. Ben Chang, why are you pressing buttons? 
Oh my he's looking. Geez. Oh my God, he's looking so solid right now. Will, Will get paid. paid. Trying to let y'all know, man. Uh, I told you, if this dude came to a setup, I'm like, yo, this dude got to be good. Yeah. There's no way. This is. I've seen this scene before in many a movies. He said, "Bitch, better have my money. <laughs> this will get paid." <laughs> Bitch, <-ing. laughs> where's the stuff you owe me? You sell my stuff? Oh. Take him with the Friday. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay, Ben Chang gonna get the wall. Yeah, we'll get paid is definitely big worm. Okay, the follow-up gets it. That is unblockable, of course, if you're close enough. Ooh, that's gonna hit. Okay, Ben yeah, Chang. If he gets me there. All right, all right. I like what I'm seeing so far. Man, my dude is three for three with the back threes. Oh yeah, he's all landing them all. Hits. Nice break on the throw there. Needs to be careful, catch him with the back one. Of his own. Yeah, more action. You gotta, oh my gosh, you're running two Yo, point instant blank. running two. Yeah. You gotta be careful too, because he has access. Uh oh, he went for the splat option, the mid. Side step four, catches him quick. Two rounds, gets it right back. Ben Chang. Uh huh. This time opting for the low there. Wow, he went for the Tybo kick. And the Billy Blanks. Uh huh. There it is. That's big. Huge hop kick. The follow up here, he's gonna again push towards the wall, now having Starburst as well. This gives him options for uh, extended lows and extended mids as well. Ooh! Follow up. Oh, he went for it, but not able Man. to get it. And the wake up kick. I can't believe. I know, right? I Look know. at him. That, that, that's how I feel, too, because he was up. He was up. It's all the way up. All the way up. When are we gonna have our listening party to listen to the new Scorpion? Yo, man, I mean, I'm down. I haven't listened. I haven't made it all the way through yet, but I'm definitely down to just chill and listen to some music. You know, that's my M.O. Chill all and right. listen to music. Arctic Snowfall coming right up. All right, Ben Chang pulling it back. Just to make a statement, if you will. Make a statement without saying a word. Yeah, man, we'll get paid it pretty good, man. And, I, you know, I feel like what the big thing was, it was just the fact that, uh, he didn't finish those wall combos. He dropped every wall combo when he had the chance. No walls on this stage, so I mm -hmm. guess we got a little bit more to be uh, enthused about. Yeah, that's crazy. He didn't have to. He didn't have to do any of that, but he made it happen anyways. Uh oh, here we go. There's a low. <laughs> oh, going for the hop kick. Good punish there. See, we'll get paid again. Controlling the space. He's been doing such a great job so far. But there's clutch moments that happen where just Ben Chang's able to get him out. Come out on top. You have to be able to clutch and oh, close it out. There's a hop kick. kick. Is it going to be enough, though? Is it enough? No. Will get paid. Will get paid. Uh oh. Oh my God. Get up to. Oh, that, that should hit. That That's should hit. hit. Never mind. See, Steve, <laughs> man, why are you toying with me, uh, man? I, I saw what he you did. made he me did. hope. He did that. It wasn't on purpose, but it was so he could make him bait out Rage right. Nice again. Another back one counter hit. Go to sleep. Good night, sweet prince. Goes for the back two. Not going to work. Man, he's instant running twos from Ben Chain. Yeah, it's like he guys, he's using it like an electric. Yep. No punish. What's going on here? Nice, this time opting for the low. Nice side steps here from Will Get Paid. No, out of range for the punish there. There's a lot of stuff going on here, man. You gotta be careful. Uh-oh. Nice. Dolph, the launcher, the rockets. Yo, he's taking his time this time around. Will Get Paid looking a lot better. Only 10 seconds left on the clock. Ben Chang chipping away. He has to do something. He's, he wants Ben Chang to swing, but he's not taking it down back three. Oh, nice punish. Oh, man. That's okay, good. here we go. That was a very long second round there, but, man, round number three here. Match number two. Ben Chang still with the advantage, but will get paid. He's making adjustments here. He's playing a lot cleaner and a lot more compact than we saw in earlier rounds. Low parry. Okay. This is looking like we'll get paid from the first round. Nice. Doesn't get both hits on the last part of the Sonic Bang. Doesn't matter. Still got some decent damage out of it. Oh, again with the rocket launcher. The follow-up gets the counter hit. What's he going to do? Boom, boom. And the follow-up. Yeah, man. Uh. Let's go. Boom, boom. 
Nice. Okay, okay, okay. We'll get paid. See, we'll get paid has some amazing, you know, decisions that he's doing here. The way he's playing Steve here is really effective because it's kind of like shutting out what Claudio can do. No, that's definitely true. And he's playing back really far, so he's going to have to swing. Uh, he's going to be swinging more if he wants to get in. Will get paid is giving him a lot of the ground that he's getting. Yeah, but that last time, Bin Chang were able to land a hop kick there. He's going to have to be wary that that range of the hop kick and the way that he's being able to employ it in the matchup is something not, not something to take lightly. Whoop. Nice. Oh, good block. Great. Oh, he was a little too slow there. Oh, the running to it once okay. again, Bin Chang. Here we go. A potential set point here for Bin Chang if he takes this round. We'll get paid, of course. Proving that he's, you know, a worthy adversary here. Second hit. Running, man. Instant. Let's go again. Uh-oh. He ducks under. No big punish, though. Now, well, good stuff. Nice again, but this time too slow with the while standing one punish. Again with the launcher. Oh, no. They trade blows. That cross chop not going to work out. Oh, he tried to punish with a back two, unable to get it. That would have been it. Get off of me, bro. Hands off the rope. Oh, oh, nice follow up oh, guaranteed. Nice. The 4 4 2 to follow up is guaranteed. Oh, Duck and kid. punish. We saw that earlier. We'll get paid. Get that money. Oh, I see more matches in the background, too. Look at these players. We got John. Who else we got there? We got Speed, Speed Kicks. Man, Speed Kicks look different, man. He growing his hair out a little bit. He got a little bit of different color on from what I'm used to. I know, he got right? the shades on, man. He got the commentary hate blockers. <laughs> and he got the Red Panda Global uh, jersey, which is actually pretty sick. All right, we're taking this to the Mishima Dojo now. One of these two players will move on, of course. It's going to be Will Get Paid or Bin Chang, though. These guys have been having a battle so far. All right, here we go. Here Last we game go of the set, we'll get paid. Here. Had a really good first match, wasn't able to take it versus Ben Chang, but that second game, still a little rough, but still ends up taking it. All right, here we go. The showdown, the final match between these two. One, two. Man, that opening is sick. <laughs> All right. Goes for the gun punch here. This time leaning in for the low. One of the things that we really haven't seen Bin Chang use too much is we haven't seen, you know, we haven't really seen use of the side step four. He's never gotten in that range. We've seen him go for down back three here and there. All right, he's an opportunity. Goes for the oh. running punch, but bad position. He's gonna have to be careful here. Yeah, he's uh, looking really close. Bin Chang about to take this first round of Ooh, game three. What a punish there with the Sonic Fang out of range. Oh, oh he, you see that? He was buffering something. Down three. The down three. He was churning butter. He was just trying to get him. He was trying to fake him out. I don't think that would have worked against Ben Chang. And it didn't. Big. Tries to go for the big launcher. I like I like the attempt, though. Nice. Able to get the follow-up there as well with the wall setting one, two. Thought we were going to see a whip punish right there, but no. Oh, there's a big counter hit. Here's a combo. Yeah, and then down back three. That's the thing he has to be careful for. Most of Steve's moves, a lot of them actually are in our high. And that makes it very, very vulnerable for counter hit opportunities with that low, especially with the down back three. I like the check oh. to the down four one. Oh man, let's rip. Let's spin. Spin to win. Side step four to take it. One more round, and Ben Chang is going to be moving on. And that's what we call to that side step four. Is key as well. I mean, the way that Claudio loses, uses his moves in the matchup is also something to look out for. I mean, how else are you going to put pressure, right? Mm hmm. Oop. Oop. Man, the range Ben Chang is fighting from. Okay. Nice. Still able to get some damage out of it. Not going to do too much, though, of course, just because yeah. of the nature of the, the hit scaling out of the air. Still a really nice conversion, nonetheless, though. Just jabbing him just to keep him honest. Yeah, I, I believe it will get paid. He has a good opportunity. Oh, my God, he went for the back two again. You have to be careful. Has him in rage now. One more hit could do it. One sliver. I believe he's going to probably go. Oh, there's a low. Another low parry. All right, he's not dead, but this is good. This is good work to start a comeback. Goes for the rage right. Not exactly what I was thinking, but. Well, at least he'll have some positioning here. He has an opportunity for a mix-up. But what's he going to do? That's the question. Is he going to go for a running attack? Oh, my God. He put the brakes on, but, man, he got hit by the second hit of the back four, too. It looks like he went for the rage drive, but, man, good stuff to Bin Chang. Yeah, Bin, Bin Chang, Chang able to on. close it out. I like that though. Will get paid. Did make some. Uh, he made some cool little moves to get to where he is right now. Regardless, uh -huh. um, little promising play. 
but it is Ben Chang. Ben Chang is one of those guys that's uh, always a threat. Anyways, we're going to take a quick break, ladies and gentlemen, but there is more Tekken World Tour action. Stay tuned.